what's up welcome back to my channel how are we doing today i don't know if i showed you guys probably not i don't think i filmed a video since i did my hair but i did my hair by myself i'm very proud of myself it took me a whole week but i did it we did it joe Today I'm about to try something I've literally never done before and that is doing my own knotless braids. Oh my god. Oh, I just got my nails done yesterday. I did some cute ass lashes yesterday. It's just got bottom. She looked like a little doll baby. I love that. And yeah, I got another uh, set of lashes to do tonight, but it's for my nail tech. We did a little swapsies, so I love that. But I'm about to get in the shower and blow my hair out because I'm really about to attempt to do my own hair. Um, I can do my own wig. I could do my own basic styles, but I really wanna know how to do my hair. And like, I just don't want to have to spend four or $500 every time I want my hair braided. Like, it's just not the move, it's not. Plus also, I really wanna know how to do my own hair. I don't like having to schedule an appointment and find time and pay every single time I want my hair done. Sometimes I just wanna get my hair done. Like, I just wanna walk in the bathroom and do my hair and come out with a new set. And actually, I don't have to go back in office until Monday. Today's Thursday, it's my last day off. I was off yesterday, I'm off today. And then tomorrow I have to work from home Saturday, I'm also going to be working from home. And then Sunday, I'm going back in office. I mean, not Sunday. Sunday, I'm off. Monday, I'm going back in office. So I essentially have four days, even though two of them I'll be working. I'm off today and I'm off Sunday to finish up everything before I go back to work. So I'm about to get started because I don't know how many days this is going to take me. It's my first time. I'm trying to be real with myself. I already know I'm going to be braiding for at least like eight hours today. With like a YouTube video playing in the background. All right, I'm out the shower. My hair is super clean. I conditioned it. It's been in this ponytail for literally like 25 minutes, which is great because some of the extra water can drip out of my hair before I start blow drying. Um, and I'm ready to start, but realistically, I need some coffee. And I was gonna go make some coffee and I realized I don't have any creamer. And not only do I not have any creamer, I ran out of sugar. So yeah, me making coffees, out um i was about to go drive to duncan it's literally down the street but i've never had krispy cream iced coffee and i actually live very close to a krispy cream so i'm gonna go outside and walk there enjoy the weather it's very nice out my hair is dripping should take me about 10 minutes so i'm gonna go grab my coffee and get home and get to blow drying i need to throw on a shirt Oh, my face, Christy. Like, that's conditioner or something on my face. But, yeah. I don't know if I should throw on a cute shirt. Nah, I'm going to just throw this on, actually. A crop top, because this is both. This is cute, but also functional, because when I get in the bathroom with that blow dryer, I already know I'm be hot as hell. I got to my front door, and I spilled my entire coffee on the floor. So I'm getting a second one. My skin was doing so good, but all the hair products on my face are making my face break out. So I'm gonna have to wash my face after this. All right, I just got home, like 10% irritated because I had to buy another coffee. So I ended up buying two iced coffees this morning, but it's fine. And to blow dry, I just use this, the Revlon blow dry brush. And I'm probably gonna like cut this part cause it's gonna be loud and annoying, so yeah. Actually, oh, my boyfriend asked me out on a cute little date. And the answer is yes, but how the heck am I gonna do that? It's 12 o'clock. He's gonna wanna go around four. Gives me four hours, so I'm gonna do as much of my hair as I can in four hours. 
put a hat on and go out and then uh, come back home and finish after I do lashes. But before I keep blow drying, I just realized I should put some um, leave-in conditioner in my hair now before I blow dry because I'm not really gonna put too much product in my hair afterwards because I don't want it to be too slippery. So let me just put a drop in my hair. because at least I can put my hair up while I finish it. Because again, this is my first time and I don't know how long it's gonna take. Again, right here. Got the nail glue, got the jam, got a comb, some scrunchies. I think I'm gonna get a chair and my iPad and we're gonna get into it. And here's my iced coffee, second one. I'll be back. Okay. So I braided it down halfway. I'm gonna try it one more time. All right. Okay. That was very hard, but it's on there. And I'm just going to start braiding as best as I can. Start wearing out. But I think this is still a good amount of curl on the bottom. I'm going to have it like come up shorter on top. So what I've seen everybody do is just put a piece of glue there and braid down some more or just put a piece of glue there and just tie it off or they just put a piece of glue there and squeeze it together with their hands. My hands are so greasy. but I don't think that's coming out. Okay, so it, <laughs> the back row is not gonna be cute. Um, We're just not gonna worry about the back row. I'm gonna put something on 
And I'm just going to keep going with the next, with the rest of the bottle. And yeah, I'll come back once the bottom's done. I still can't believe I did this by myself. It's definitely not the best at all. Not the best. But it's pretty cute. I'm definitely shocked that I was able to do this. After many, many tries and many, many days, I have about 10 braids left, literally. Probably looks like more than what it is just because my hair is up there, but yeah. <clears throat> okay, when I started this video, it was a long time ago. I'm not gonna lie, it was about a week ago. There's been a lot of trials and tribulations, but as you can see, I am on my last beret. Oh, I can't wait. I'm about to cry. I cannot wait. I'm going to Chipotle. I just can't wait. I'm also going to go to the beauty supply to get some hair clips to cover up the imperfections because this was my first time. I am not the best braider. I had no idea what I was doing. I messed up a few times and I really figured it out for real towards the end at the front of my face. So there's a little bit of imperfections, but am I taking it out and doing it over? No. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not. I'm about to go to the beauty supply after I do this last braid and pick up some cute hair clips to cover the imperfections and I'm keeping this in my hair probably for the next three weeks or so. So let me show you how much work I've done so far. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it! This took me forever! And if I get close up, you can see some of the imperfections. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Again, this was my first time. So like right here, I braided this whole thing. And then I went to go braid another piece and realized because I had it sectioned like this, even though it's all in a ponytail, when I pulled this braid out, half of this hair was stuck in there. So I had to like pull it out of the braid which in turn made the top of the braid loose. Like it just, it just made it ugly. So if I just put a clip right there, we good. The rest of the braid is fine. Also little imperfections like down here, this is my hair. <laughs> That's my hair sticking out. I was braiding down and I didn't realize my hair was very close to the ends. Like, I flipped my hair so I can't see it, but there's one on this side. I'm trying to find it. I don't know, but there's one on this side that literally my hair stops right where I tied it. I tied one of them way too short. So I'm gonna have to be very careful when taking these out of my hair to, I started going lower in the front because I realized what I was doing, but you can see the ones up here are higher and the ones right there and my real hair is like all the way down to here and it stops there so I have to cut very close to the ends I also got my hair trimmed in January and I realized I think my ends were still a little blunt even though it's been like two months my ends are still a little blunt so they were sticking out towards the bottom but that's what helped me notice that, hey girl, you're gonna cut your hair off if you don't cut these all the way down here. But I'm gonna show you guys the method that finally got it to look somewhat okay. First of all, you're gonna need so much jam, it doesn't make sense. I thought, I watched this one YouTube video and this girl was complaining about how she didn't have enough and she ran out and I'm like, that's a whole jar plus three extras. I get it now. If you have a lot of hair, yeah, 
This was brand new. You probably can't even see in there, but yeah, it was brand new. We're almost done. It's just some left on the sides. But I blew my hair out. I sectioned it, but I was struggling with my sections. I actually had my friend section it for me. She did a way better job than I did. So the ones in the back are not properly sectioned. I sectioned them. Trying to section the back of your hair. Yeah, these girlies got it. Because again, I'm not good at doing my hair, but I'm getting there. I want to keep practicing because I was not about to pay somebody $400 to do this for me. I'm sorry. Wasn't going to happen. Was not going to happen. So this is my last piece out of the second pack. This is exactly two packs of hair. That's it. This is two bundles of the three pack bundles of French curls. I bought four. So now I have an entire another hairstyle that I don't know when I'm going to do that because I'm probably not doing this again for a long time. This took me so long, especially it being my first time. I'm going to do the hairstyle again, but thicker. I'm going to have literally half the amount of this braids because it just took too long. But anyways, get your hair, sleek your hair down because some of them looks thick because I didn't put enough product at the top. So you want your hair as flat as possible. Take your latch hook, sorry, under the braid, comes under the hair that's about to be the braid. Put the hair on the hook. So simple. This is probably the hardest part is closing the hook because if the hook is not closed, the hair keeps falling out. And I had that happen a few times and it's just annoying because you just want it done the first time. Okay, boom. Put your, your finger through the loop. All of it didn't come through. Make sure all of it is together, but put your finger through the loop and pull one side. I'm just pulling one side. This is when I start struggling because Okay, get it through and then even it, spread it out just like that. It can probably look crazy and that's fine. It will get smoothed out as you start braiding. So now you're going to split a piece of this off and it doesn't have to be thick at all because well, I guess it really depends on the thickness of your hair. I'm go dependent by the thickness of my hair. But this piece of my hair is so thick, I can use a tiny piece and it's basically as thick as these two. So you just want to match the thickness on the three strands plus your hair strand. And now, now that I have one, two, three pieces, I have to look in the mirror for this part because again, I'm not the best braider. You just start braiding. So I'm trying to braid as tight and as close together as I can. And the first few pieces are going to be a little tangly just because you just split the piece of hair after it's crocheted under your hair. So literally the first three loops, you're probably going to have to really detangle. Like that's one. That's two. And then three. my last braid and I'm not loving it but again I'm not about to do it over I've I'm so tired I've been braiding my hair for so many days I just can't wait to be done I'm debating whether I should add some curly pieces 
because it looks it does look really pretty when there's just a few pieces hanging but i also really like how all of the braids go down and then curl i feel like adding some curly pieces at the top might make it look weird i don't know i haven't decided yet you're braiding over it anyway i don't know if you can tell but it's not the smoothest because i split it and then you can also see my hair just sticking out and again i hope nobody thinks i'm trying to flex or anything but my hair is so long that this style you normally stop it like here i'm trying to remember to stop here my curly pieces are not as long but I do not want to accidentally cut my hair off. So if your hair is longer and you want to do this style, just pay attention to where you're stopping your twists so you're not like me, terrified you're going to cut your hair off when you take this out. And if your hair is shorter, you have nothing to worry about. Just braid it. Most girls, they stop it a little shorter. It's like here and then layers. I started braiding in the back thinking I would do the layers, but as I kept going, I realized my hair is already in layers. So like the back part of my hair is a little bit shorter. The middle part of my hair is the longest part of my hair. And then the top part of my hair is almost as long as the middle part. This, and that's just how my hair naturally grows. Like my hair grows in a V shape. So when your hair grows in a V shape, the hair in the middle grows the longest. Like. That's just how my hair grows. <sighs> Which nobody asked, but that's why I hate when I have to get a haircut because they always cut my hair straight across. So then it always grows back weird because the middle is gonna grow back faster than the sides. And I just wish I could get my hair cut in a V, but it is what it is. And I'm just berating, trying to keep it as tight as I can. No, the top looks a little funny. I don't care. It's this is not gonna be the best. Like I'm doing my own hair. I am not a hairstylist. I'm an esthetician, okay? I do lashes. But I'm also a girl who is so tired of not having my hair done unless I schedule an appointment. I really want to be more self-sufficient when it comes to my hair. So I love having my hair done. But I hate paying to get my hair done all the time. Like, I don't mind paying to get my hair done. I love when somebody else will just do my hair. But these prices, like $400 for knotless braids, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I do not have $400 to get my hair braided, especially if I want to do other fun stuff for myself. Like, I still pay my rent, my phone bill, my car insurance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Me getting $400 just to have my hair braided, it just it doesn't align with my pockets, okay? Now, if somebody was paying for it, hell yeah. But also just knowing how to do your own hair is just like such a flex because then I could change my hair up way more often. Like these is probably going to stay in for two to three weeks. I want to keep it in for three weeks, but realistically, I feel like it's been damn near a week already of me doing my hair since I started it. So if I keep it in for another two weeks, I will be satisfied with that. And I'm just checking to make sure all of my hair is braided because I think I got to the end of it. So this is where my hair ends. And where I started capping in the front, I love that. But when I first started, that was capping way too high. Yeah, like this one stops here. I also try to remember like these are two different parts of my hair. So just keep reading. And tie it off.
and then one more. This is like an exhilarating feeling. This is the first time I've ever done this many braids in my head. And then dot it off with a little Zada glue. Put a tiny dot of glue. looks good it definitely looks semi knotless like there's knots but the knots are very small i feel like they look a little bigger on camera but it's pretty flat in real life which i like aside from the part that i messed up which is just killing me and then i take a little bit of this and just smooth over like where my hair is because again, these ends blunt. Okay. I'm officially not putting my face in me. Yeah, no, I'm very excited. Like, this is super cute. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Like, can we see the styles? They literal half up, half down. And look at all of this hair, baby. And I'm obsessed. Okay. I do want to mousse down the top of my head. Show you guys the real tea. Cause it's not the best. But overall, all together looks pretty good. I don't know, I feel like this angle Doesn't look that bad, but doesn't look perfect. I messed up quite a few times. But mm, look at the curl. Let me order my Chipotle and go to the beauty supply. And then when I come home, I'm gonna steam my hair let it dry i'm gonna eat my chipotle and then i'm gonna add the charms and then we're finished okay let me go to the store Want me, Want me. Want